Hey folks, Tim Shea here with the Shea Group Realty of Keller Williams Realty in Beverly, Massachusetts. I am here with your monthly freeze frame market snapshot, give you a little insight as to how the market is performing. When people ask me the question, how is the market doing? And my response is, well, that depends on whether you're buying or whether you're selling. So I've got some key statistics which will give you some insight if you're selling and if you're buying what the market has in store for you. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to look at August 15th through September 26th and compare years 2015 to 2016. We're going to go through some, some uh, key numbers here and give you an idea of what that means for you. So in sales, we're actually down 5.6%. 5, uh, 5, 5 I apologize. We're actually down 5.6% from 2015 to 2016. In median prices, we're actually up. So that just shows you that there's a demand in the market right now. There's a lot of buyers, not a lot of sellers. In inventory, we're actually down 21%. So that's another thing that we're looking at at this juncture, is, is that there's just not a lot of inventory uh, compared to the amount of buyers that there are. So if you're selling, you're getting top dollar in this current market. Pending sales, we're actually down 6.9%, uh, uh, which uh, indicates how much uh, further this market is going to go into the next 30, 60, 90 days. So we have a good amount of sales. Even though we're down from the previous year, we have a good amount of sales that this market is going to continue on through to the next few months. Months supply of inventory, probably one of the biggest factors that we look at. Um, I've talked before in some of my previous episodes um, about what makes a balanced market. Well, look at it measuring a market on a 12-month scale. And six months is a balanced market. It's good for buyers and it's good for sellers. Anything above six or six months uh, is a buyer's market. It means that there's lots of inventory and there's plenty of properties to choose from. It's great for buyers. It's okay for sellers. Uh, you're getting good money, but you're not getting top dollar. Anything below six months or six uh, is actually a seller's market. And the lower you get, the less months of inventory there is. So right now, we've actually moved up from the previous uh, month that we did uh, with, the, with the freeze frame market snapshot. We were down to 0.97 months of inventory. We're actually up 1 point to 1.7 months of inventory, but we're down 19% from the previous year in the same time frame. What does this indicate? Well, it indicates that it takes about 1.7 months for the current amount of inventory to sell off. Um, which is great for sellers because you're getting top dollars indicated by median price uh, and also by the inventory. But it's really, really tough for buyers. So it's imperative that you get yourself a good buyer's agent that understands this landscape. Somebody who can negotiate for you, understands um, what the, 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 the things are that you can do to go ahead and make your offer as competitive, what the risks are associated with those, and explain everything as clear as daylight. Um, median prices are 4.1% above the same period in our peak year of 2015, uh, 2005. In year to date, we've got some good numbers. Uh, the sales, they're up actually 1.5%. And median prices were actually up year to date. That's from January 1st, 2016 to September uh, 26th, um, 2016. So we've got some, we've got some great numbers. Um, uh, that are moving in the right direction to balance it out a little bit more. But what I think is going to happen is that if you're, if you're selling, now is definitely the time to go ahead and consider selling. So now let's take those numbers a step further and just look at it um, in Essex County again and break it down into uh, different segments. We'll look at it in different price point demographics because not everybody's in that same demographic. So the toughest market right now is the under 450,000 market. We're actually down in sales 12.5%, we're actually down in inventory 33.5%, and we are actually down month supply of inventory 13.39. However, there is, a, there is a silver lining in this. The inventory is slowly creeping up, which means a couple of things. It means that more people are either putting their property on or buyers have decided to go ahead and step out of the market. But the market itself is starting to slow a little bit, and it does historically do that as you tend to get into the fall and winter months. It opens up a little bit more when you get into the 450000 to 700000 range. Sales are up 6.3%. Uh, uh, inventory is down 10.19%. Again, we're just in a deficit of inventory all around. 
Um, and month's supply of inventory is down 12.5 percent from 2015. Again, we're talking this month compared to the same month in 2015. As you get to 700,000 to 1 uh, million, we're actually uh, sales are up 24.69 percent. Inventory again is down, and month supply of inventory is actually down 30.23 percent. However, that is not such an egregious number because the numbers tend to drop off the higher you get in your price points. And million dollar and over, uh, you're you're in a buyer's market. There's no doubt about it. You've got you know over six months of uh, inventory specifically. Sales are stagnant. They're at 42, the same as they were the previous year. Inventory is down 5%, but it's a small tick. And month supply of inventory is actually down to 7.5, uh, which is down 5.1%. But again, that's over that balanced market of six. So we're definitely in a seller's market. So you're looking at different price points, it shows that it's a different market, whereas previously it had been all a seller's market. Um, so, you know, the key to this market is to, again, as I've stated before, find yourself an agent if you're buying that understands this uh, landscape that we're currently in because it's very difficult to navigate. I've had buyers that have lost out once or twice uh, just because it's a very competitive landscape where you've got uh, uh, multiple bid scenarios, highest and best scenarios, and you want somebody that understands the tricks of the trade, what you can do to leverage your offer, make your offer seem more attractive. Definitely, the keys to those are, um, you know, cash position is one, the amount of cash you have to apply to your purchase and your deposits to make the offer attractive to the sellers, uh, having yourself pre-approved. If you're not pre-approved, you're missing the first step in the whole process. And again, finding yourself that right agent to go ahead and represent you and, your, uh, and, 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 and show you what you can do to go ahead and be as competitive in this marketplace as possible. So thanks for tuning in again for the Freeze Frame Market Snapshot ending September 26th. You know you can always find me at mistalista.com, that's M-I-S-T-A-L-I-S-T-A.com, or you can call or text me at 781-789-5128. And until I see you out there, happy house hunting. <laughs>